Yeah, 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 oh Yeah, yeah What is up, everybody, and welcome to week nine of our NFL wrap-up show. Yes, week and, nine. Uh, quite a week it was, my friend. Uh, a great week for the Cowboys, not so great for the Eagles, but I will let you talk about that in a minute. In fact, I'll let you talk about about it right now. That way, we can end on a positive. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think let's just get this over with, all right? Let's just get this over with. I think this season is slipping away from the Eagles. Um, uh, I mean, um, <laughs> I, I, I don't like to say it was close, you know, that they were almost winning. No, if you don't win, you don't win. <laughs> you know, you either win or you either lose. And they, they That's lost. What <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm a little more optimistic than you are, I think. I think the Eagles have a chance, and I think that they can come back. So. Yeah, uh, well, chance. They, everyone has a chance. <laughs> uh, but I think the way they have played the last two games uh, is not so good. So, you know, another bad week uh, for the Eagles, uh, to be very honest. Uh, third divisional loss, because they lost to the Giants. Mm -hmm. uh, they lost to the Redskins, and they lost to the Cowboys. So... I had three teams in the division and they have lost, so that's a very bad, very bad division record. Uh, the thing that always comes back to bite you is that these divisional games, when you're tied and you lose all those three divisional uh, games, normally that comes to bite you. So, uh, not a very good, not a very good week for the Eagles. But uh, I gotta say that um, you know the the wide receivers kind of showed up. Uh, last week I mentioned that um, the Eagles needed some help uh, with the wide receivers, right. and uh, for some, you know, somehow they played much better than they have played actually the whole of this season. By the way, right. uh, I have to give uh, a very shout out to Bryce Treggs. You know, Bryce Treggs is a rookie, uh, and uh, he j I think this was his first game of the season. And I mean, he did, uh, he did a very good job. I mean, he had the longest catch, uh, 58 yards. That was yeah, pretty impressive. That catch was insane. I mean, they say he's one of the fastest receivers uh, yeah. in the, in the exactly. Eagles team now after the Eagles lost Deshaun Jackson. So mm -hmm. I'm very excited to see what this young man uh, is going to bring to the Eagles team. Uh, but that is the only positive thing that actually happened to the <laughs> Eagles uh, this week that uh, Bryce Treggs uh, got a chance to show what um, you know is capable of. Uh, the Eagles secondary terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> go easy on them, man. Go easy. I mean, the Giants, the Giants receivers were like what, what, wide open the whole game. Yeah. They lost uh, Odell Beckham Jr. They lost uh, almost for every play. Uh, Early Manning was just trying to just throw the ball at the end zone, and he knew that uh, somehow one of his receivers was going to get the ball. So a very terrible uh, game for uh, the Eagles, you know, secondary. I mean, you saw how they were burnt, man. I mean, there's really no excuse, man. I mean, I'm hard as an Eagles fan. That's why I'm saying terrible. <laughs> uh, I mean, just to so just to sum it up, I think uh, the Eagles, I need to really look down, uh, deep down, what they really have and really rethink this season. You know, <laughs> uh, they need to get this uh, this season back on track. Uh, it's slowly slipping away. If they continue in this, you know, in this, uh, you know, in this trend. Uh, I am uh, slowly getting worried uh, for my Philadelphia Eagles. I love the Eagles, but terrible play today. Yeah, uh, and you could have won at that last play. Yeah, yeah. You could have won if he would have caught that, but Wentz kind of over through it a little bit. Yeah, but you know, that's the same thing we talked about last yeah, week. Last that week. If only they had stopped, um, you know, Doug Prescott from uh -huh. scoring that final play, yeah. they would have won. 
if only they had won the the toss, the point yeah. of won. Today they had a chance to win it, but they didn't win it. The right. bottom line is those are both losses, and uh, so they just have to come back from it. Right. So you're close. I believe. I think you're like one player away from becoming good. I appreciate your encouragement, man. Uh -huh. But that's not flying with me as an Eagles fan. I mean, I see this season and I'm worried for my Philadelphia Eagles. But anyway, um, I just have to give it to the Giants. Um, they yeah. came, played a good game and won the game. Plain and yeah. simple. Uh, so, terrible game for the Eagles. And uh, But uh, you know what? what? A very good game for the Cowboys. Indeed, my friend. And I appreciate that the Cowboys played very well. And I mean... Of course, it was versus the Browns. <laughs> what did you but, expect? Uh, <laughs> what did you expect? I mean, come on. So let's actually begin with Prescott. He was 21 for 27 with three touchdowns and 247 yards. Dude was crazy accurate, crazy good, and we got the W because of him. Yeah, I mean... Dak Prescott is just, he's just uh, very impressive. Every week, yeah. he just shows again just uh, how unimpressive a player he is. So, yeah. a very good game. I mean, uh, the Cowboys have just, uh, they just have something going on uh, with them, which is very yeah. good. Yeah, so, and actually, Prescott played so well that Sanchez got to play for a little bit. <laughs> Mike Sanchez! <laughs> Mark Sanchez got to play for a little bit, a bit of the Eagles uh, in there. <laughs> yeah, Mark Sanchez uh, used to be the Eagles yeah. uh, quarterback, yeah. uh, of course, backup quarterback. Yeah. Uh, so, good for him. Good for him. He got to play some yeah. playtime. You know? Yeah, and, uh, uh, and apparently Romo will probably be active next week. Um, I don't really care anymore. I mean, <laughs> if he's active, as long as Prescott is playing and playing well, you know, he can be active, but I don't want Rome on the field, so. Uh, next, let's talk about Ezekiel Elliott. Dude w was, once again, a beast with two touchdowns and 92 yards. It was very close to getting another hundred yeah. a year that game, so indeed that was good. I mean, that guy is just so powerful, man. So no, yeah, like there were plays where you could tell that he was maybe close to being tackled, but then he breaks them. The kid is impressive. Jason Witten, the old man, found the fountain of youth, and uh, he played very well. He had 134 yards and a touchdown. And um, Prescott kept on passing it over to him, and he was open, and um, he was very effective. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, last week he only had like one touch, yeah, yeah, yeah. one catch, which was actually the game determinant, uh, right. determinant uh, catch. I mean, the last. The last play, actually, mm -hmm. um, with I think it was about nine yards or so. I think he had like nineteen yards. Nineteen yards, yeah. And then like that. today, uh, today he just went one thirty-four yards. Just one unleashed thirty-four yards. So <laughs> I mean, Jason Witten is just um, he's like a utility play. Like, hey, just let me know what you need me to do. If win games or just catch passes, you know. Dude, he's a vet uh, and he's, he's, he yeah. comes through in the clutch. Yeah, and Jason That's Witten, does. all you do, you know, you get that burden on experience. So, a uh, very good game from him. Yeah, I, I agree. And for my last topic of the day, I want to talk about togetherness. Uh, the Cowboys, they're, they're playing together. They're playing as a team. They're playing like I've basically not seen them play since probably the early 90s and that that's impressive yeah I think um, you know something is going on with the Cowboys they have such a good gel mm -hmm. uh, such a good no just a very good uh, teamwork there and everything just seems to be going their way you know right. 
I'm curious to know what they do when Tony Romo comes, but I have no doubt that <laughs> Dak, he's not going to come back. That Dak Prescott, <laughs> that Dak Prescott stays there as a quarterback for the uh, for the Cowboys. So yeah, absolutely. Um, the only negative today was Des Bryant. He only caught one pass, and I think he had 19 yards or 13 yards, but that's not good enough. Yeah, I think the, the you know the good thing is that at the end of the day they get a way to win. Right. Uh, so the day that Des is not good, Jason Witten is good. The day that Jason Witten is not good, Beasley just uh, breaks loose. So you know just being able to compensate for one another yeah. uh, has worked so well for the Cowboys. And um, I mean yes, and I agree with you that Dak Prescott still need that. You know, I need to connect more with Des Bryant. Um, mm-hmm. But um, I mean, so far he gets um, a way of using his uh, receivers and winning games. So yeah, I mean, we're eight and one, so I'm not complaining. Whatever, dude. <laughs> oh wait, seven and one. Seven and one. So I'm not complaining, you know. So, yeah. but uh, you know, if you love the team, you have to critique them, and I had to get that one negative in. Yeah, that's why I'm not wearing the Eagles jersey today. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, you didn't make a promise. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, peoples, um, just want to let you know that we love you. Like it, share it, comment, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Somebody say I can't make it in life, then I tell them you lying And even when the hope disappears, I gotta pray and you gotta keep trying